This morning we arrived out on the western side of Dustin Island nice and early to see huge flocks of Cape Cormorants taking to the air and in hindsight we should have realized what we were going to come across as we got into the water. Huge big schools of the blue hot tot fish encircled me as I got down to the bottom and I wasn't sure why there were so many fish in this particular area until I started dropping further down and weaving my way through these kelp stems to, to get into the deeper water where I came across huge numbers of krill. They almost came in waves. You get a nice little clear patch and think you you clear of them and then another whole big swarm of these little animals just kind of engulfed you and it was very difficult to to see through them and see what you're swimming into on the other side. Millions upon millions of these tiny little animals and it's perhaps because of this huge food source in this area that all the, the fish were around and, and the birds as well. They would all feed off of these little animals or perhaps fish that are attracted to, to feed off these krill, these little shrimps. It was quite difficult to kind of focus on any one particular thing when, when all this was going around you. Um, I found some really nice topography, quite a lot of corals and anemones. And even right down on the bottom, on the, the little mussel beds, I found a couple of little clipfish and they were also just enjoying this perfect opportunity to feed on these little animals. Beautiful little fish. Lovely colorings, obviously well adapted to hiding in and amongst these mussel beds. And today they, they're obviously not having to wait too long before a couple of these tiny little krill swim past and they manage to grab them. Quite nice just to take a closer look at the foundation of, of food in our oceans. species. This environment is amazing. Absolutely beautiful to watch. <laughs> <laughs>